Good afternoon. This is the fourth lesson. If you're in the first week of the matter unit, you should be um, on day four. And if you're in the second week of the matter unit, you should be on day one of week four. Start early. Is a change in state a physical or chemical change? You should know the answer to this one. What are the states of matter? If you don't know the, state, the answer to this one from the previous class, from your notes, then you should um, make a guess and at least put down the three states of matter you're most familiar with. Um, we'll be going over all five states of matter that we discussed in this class as part of this lecture. On Earth, what exists in three states of matter and gives us life? This will require you to do a little bit of critical thinking and imagine what element or compound on Earth exists in three states of matter. Today's objective, change in state, the phases of matter. Today we're going to be going over the behaviors of matter at, as it pertains to different states of matter what happens with energy as matter goes through these different state changes or phase changes, and also we're going to be looking at models. You should have this form. You can download it from the website or you can pick it up in class. It's your States of Matter study guide. At the end of this, there will be an individual quiz. If you've not taken the individual quiz, you need to come into class at lunchtime, before school, or after school to take the quiz. It's a quick, short answer quiz. The first state of matter that we'll be discussing is the Pose-Einstein condensate. Now, these were, until recently, a theoretical state in which atoms were cooled to close to absolute zero. Um, in this case, the temperature that was achieved that was observable was negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. As they reach this level, the atoms and photons are able to share quantum states. Now, if you imagine the image we had from when we were looking at the solar system and they had that cloth with the big indentation that was caused by the gravity of the sun, this is somewhat similar to that, but just on a microscopic scale. Now, when I say absolute zero, that is the most important thing that you remember about the Bose-Einstein condensate for the purposes of this class. If you go on into um, higher level chemistry or physics, you may have to know more. Plasmas are at the opposite end of the spectrum from Bose-Einstein condensate. Whereas Bose-Einstein condensate is super cooled and thus at a really low energy level, plasmas are full of energy so full of energy that the electrons can move freely of the atoms. So with the electrons moving freely of the atoms and the molecules, this allows both ions and electrons to coexist. Plasma occurs naturally, making up the sun, core of stars, flames, lightning, and auroras. Um, it also makes up 99% of our universe. Now, that's the amount of information you need about plasmas and both Einstein condensate for the purposes of our class. However, if you wish to look up more information about them, you're more than welcome to, and I would even encourage it. The main three states of matter that we deal with most often are solids, liquids, and gases. Solids are relatively rigid and have definite volume and shape. Notice the highlighted items are the most important information, so you should put these in your notes. If you need to pause this video at any time to take notes, or any of the videos that I do to take notes, please do so. The atoms or molecules in a solid are packed close together and cannot be compressed. The atoms are still moving, though they still have energy. So even though it's a solid and the molecules and atoms are not moving around each other, they still have energy. Liquids have a definite volume, but can change shape, unlike the solids, by flowing. Liquids have particles with more energy than solids, and they are able to move around each other. This means they usually take the shape of their container. Gases have no definite volume or shape. So unlike liquids and solids, they have no definite volume or shape. 
Without something to confine them, they will spread out indefinitely. But if confined, they take the shape of their container. That's why balloons will have the same shape because they go into the shape of their container. That's why if you put gas inside of a scuba gear, it tends to take the shape of that container. Atoms or molecules of gas are not touching. Um, this results in very low density, and they have much higher energy than liquids. So they'll be bouncing around and hitting the sides of their container, and if they hit each other as well. Um, and, and it's fairly rare for the atoms or molecules to hit each other since they have so much space between each other. So the states of matter are gas, liquid, and solid. Gases assume the shape and volume of their container. If we look at these particles, they're separated from each other, moving in straight lines and in a completely random manner. They change directions only when they collide with each other or the container. Liquids have a definite volume and assume the shape of their container. As you can see from the particles here, they're closely spaced and their motion is still random but much more limited. The particles slip past and collide with near neighbors. Now a solid have a definite shape and volume, but the particles of the solid are in a fixed position and collide only with their near neighbors. So the next video has a song that I'm going to open up for you guys to listen to. detail you can go ahead and go to YouTube and type in um, Bill Nye science is cool states of matter rap okay states of matter study guide you are going to for the study guide take notes on all the information that was presented or go to your book and read for the information um, in the first place the Bose-Einstein condensate I don't require a model to be drawn um, but you do need to remember the absolute zero piece for, um, the, for the description. So in the description, you need to write that this occurs near absolute zero. So for each of the different states besides Bose-Einstein, you need to draw an image of the state and phase at the visible and atomic level in addition to including a description. This is an example of a picture at the, salt, at the visible level for a solid. And this is an example of at the atomic level. You can review the video earlier or by going into the um, presentation screen and watching it at your own pace. You should have solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Plasma may be a little bit more difficult. You may have to look that up online if you can't find it anywhere else. At this point, there's an individual quiz that you need to come to class in order to take. Speak with me or Mr. Santiago, and we will hand you the quiz. To end the day, the question of the day is, is a phase change or state of matter change a chemical or a physical change? In class, students raised their hand if they thought it was a chemical, and then they raised their hand if they thought it was physical. The answer is, a phase change is a physical change.